Hey guys, Nick here. Thanks for coming by. Um, I have a couple of guests with me today. Um, this is my friend Aaron that a lot of you guys know and my other friend Brooke. Um, so guys, what I wanted to do was kind of introduce you to your um, administrative team as part of our uh, Facebook group, but I also wanted to throw in a few other people's perspectives on uh, how liver disease has kind of affected our lives directly. Um, I, I know that you guys that have been kind of following my story know that, uh, you know, there's been a lot of different ups and downs kind of with, with my diagnosis. And recently I've experienced, as you guys know, a motor vehicle accident that has put me on crutches, you know, and really just kind of slowed everything down. So there's, there's been a lot of changes and things that have, uh, that have happened specifically for me. Um, the, the biggest change that I would say that's impacted my life has been, um, just generally how I interact, uh, with the people around me. Um, I, I had to really open myself up or really allow myself to open up about what was bothering me because, uh, a lot of my stuff is internal and I don't always, uh, necessarily verbalize it, you know, very well when it comes to how I'm feeling specifically. And when, uh, when I was in the hospital, I really had to get, we'll say exposed in, in every sense of the word, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, um, just to try to figure out kind of what, what was happening, you know, and, and what was going on. So, um, you know, about six months or so after I was diagnosed is when I started kind of formulating this idea of just kind of putting my story out there. And uh, I've come in contact with some amazing people and I wanted to get some other people's input in there as well. Um, as some of you guys know, I'm planning on doing a live stream at some time in the future. I'm still kind of formulating some of that out. Um, but I wanted to get some other people's uh, perspective as well. So I am going to ask Aaron, um, what advice would you give to somebody that has been recently diagnosed? Um, as we all know, you are know, given your diagnosis and you think, oh my gosh, what is this? And you're freaking out or you're so out of it in the hospital or wherever you are. It's very hard to remember you are still here. Wow. You have to be grateful. I know I was. We were given time. That was the blessing that we were given. Now, what do you do with that time that you were given? You can change. You do have you can choose your fisher. You can eat healthy. You can cut back. You can stop. Rely on your family and your friends. Find support where you can. The group. Um, we have a Facebook page. Nick has a YouTube channel. Work hard. Play hard. Do all the things that make you happy. We only have one life. Make it count. That's awesome. Um, so, Brooke, uh, how would you say that your life has changed the most since your diagnosis? Uh, it has changed a lot. Um, more physically than anything. Um, I walk with a cane. Um, at one point, I was in a wheelchair. Uh, another point I was to a walker and so the cane, my balance is off. So I fall, I have a, a frequent faller. Um, I also am not able to participate in a lot of things that I really love to do. Like my passion in life was, or it is still is, uh, riding horses. I uh, have a horse that's in a stall out in uh, here in Tennessee. She, living a great life she's fat and happy but I you know unfortunately not able to get out there as much uh, because of the terrain is a little off and I can't ride so um, I just don't have the lower extremity strength to keep myself up on the horse for very long um, 
Also, I am an avid uh, softball player. Um, so, you know, being able to go to the batting cages and that kind of thing, or even just throwing the ball around or even like just running to get the ball is not possible right now. But physically um, and of course emotionally as well too. Uh, I've had my ups and downs of happy and then the lows of, you know, depression and um, some anger a little too. So it's a big whirlwind of things, but physically is the most that I've been affected. Yeah, I think that for me, it's been a, a combination of a lot of, um, it's been a combination of a lot of different things. Um, I, I slowly started to come to terms with my physical limitations. Um, mentally is what really has, uh, has impacted me the, the most. And, you know, it's, it's really difficult for me sometimes to look at who I am now and where I am now versus where I saw myself 10 or 15 years ago. Um, I've always been a very kind of independent person, but now I'm living with a lot of the, the hard choices and, uh, you know, kind of, kind of selfish decisions that I made a lot of, you know, during a lot of my life. Um, as I've said uh, many times on here before, my liver disease is directly because of alcohol. And, you know, I've had to, I, I was really surprised when I was diagnosed as to how young I was when, um, you know, when my doctors told me, you know, I mean, I thought that the level of liver disease that I would have, you know, would happen eventually, but I would be 70, 75, you know, and it really wouldn't impact me as much. Um, but, you know, it's some days it's more difficult to force a smile, but the, the smiles that I, I do put forward are, are more genuine and I feel like I've earned them a, a little bit more. Um, so that's, that's kind of the message that, you know, I wanted to make sure that we're, that we're conveying to not just the group and anybody else out there that's kind of, um, you know, going through this as well, um, because it, it is a hard journey and it, it's one that I, I feel like a lot of people don't really want to talk about very much. Um, and so I, I decided to go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm going to shut up, um, and see, do you have anything else? No, I just want to say that I had, and I'm very, ha I'm very happy to meet everyone. I'm very happy to reconnect with Nick again, and mini break is great too. So. Yeah, definitely. And okay. same here. I am just really happy to be here with you guys and all of you in this group. And it's really nice to know that you're not alone, that there's other people out there that are similar to your instances and, uh, reactions and problems and everything so it's nice to have a community of people to be able to have you know thoughts and and things that they have questions about or um you know anything and everything we're we're definitely here for you guys and know that um, we care for everybody as much as we care for ourselves and we're out here just to spread the word and help as much as we can with anything that anybody needs. Absolutely. And guys, remember, if you guys are not members yet, there's going to be a link in the comments section below to join our Facebook group. Just click and request to join and you're going to be in. Um, guys, we appreciate you all so much. Thank yes. you for hanging out with us for a little bit. And we will see you guys later. Bye.